Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry for the delay, it's been crazy busy. Um, so ramp time is a premium at the moment, which is why I'm here on a Sunday um, filming and it's the only chance I'm going to get to do a little with our Betty. So plan today, I'm hoping, is to finally do the round headlight conversion. Um, we have the parts, which you will hopefully see now. See what I did there? That was good, that wasn't it? Anyway, I'm getting the hang of this. So, that's what we plan to do. Um, I'm going to see how far I can get. I'm going to time lapse some of it because there is shitloads of screws and nuts and bolts on her. Um, some of them might be a bit difficult to get off, so I will time lapse it so I don't bore you to death. Um, what else? Oh, the valance. Mexico valance. Uh, if I can do that today, I will do. However, I may have to do that midweek um, because it's Sunday and Apprentice John is at home part-timer. So midweek, I may need a bit of a hand with that. So I might do that then or I might just try it today myself. We'll see how brave I am. Okay, guys, so enjoy the video and thanks for tuning in. Okay, just to show you what I'm doing before I time lapse, so you know what I am doing. So to take the bumper off, you've got 13 mils, one on each in the centre, but access is behind the bumper there. And then you've got two 10 mils on each indicator, so they need to come out as well. And then the bumper can come off. So that's first job to do. Okay, so the bumper's off, as you can see. Uh, indicators I'm leaving connected for now because the new quarter bumpers that I'm putting on, they're a direct fit for that. So it makes sense just to leave them where they are. That'll make it easier later. Um, some of you asked me as well, mainly on Twitter, regarding the, well, these actually, so which were fitted here. I've taken them off um, because the balance that's going to be going on, these are going to be in the way. A few of you have asked if they were side lights. Um, they're actually a reflector. I don't know if they were a requirement for South Africa, um, but they were bolted on, which was a bit of a surprise because I was uh, trying to pull them on thinking they were stuck on. So, but yeah, they've, they've left a little bit of a mess. It's not down to the metal, so that's good. So it'll continue to be protected. Um, and in the future, I'm hoping to get a painted anyway. So yeah, that's what they are. They are the reflectors. So we've got obviously the grill to put on the bottom valance, the headlights to change. So I'm just going to offer it up now so you can see what I've got. So I've got the grill for the round headlights, as you can see. It's used, guys, but it's in good condition. And I think she's going to look extra gorgeous with that. So that's going to be going on. And the valance I'll show you now. As I say, I'll just offer it up because I think this is going to be a bit of a nightmare to fit, if I'm honest. Um, but that's basically what we're looking at. Yeah, absolutely stunning. I mean, this is freshly painted by a good friend of mine, Darren, who I've known for a lot of years. And he's done a fantastic job. And his son, Jake, as well. Um, they're going to send me some photos over of their prep from when they painted. But this, obviously, this is freshly painted. So all this, I'm going to... Give it a bit of a teacup before we fit this. But yeah, we're ready. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm just going to cut in here just to show you the next steps and so you understand what I'm going to be doing in the next time lapse. So the headlights are now loose, so I'm just going to move this to show you the next part. So, this is the new bucket for the round headlight conversion. Obviously, the existing bucket is for the square. Now, there's a few differences, so you will have to make modifications if you're going to do this yourself. First of all, the adjustment screws, this one and here, are in a different place on the round. So, if I marry it up there, you'll see that they are higher, so they're going to need moving. Not only that, on the existing... Here, 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 and here. Um, that's my air hostess impersonation, by the way. Um, but anyway, so, yeah, the webbing, that needs trimming back so that this one will fit flush um, into the existing bucket. 
And also, the wiring is in really good condition, which is fantastic. So we will use that. The wiring needs to come through. I don't know if you can see that ridiculously tiny hole there. That is going to be made bigger for the wiring to come through. Now, I'm all for a tight hole, but that's, uh, that's ridiculously tight. So um, you don't want a baggy hole now, do you? So that's what we're going to do next. Um, I'm going to time lapse it again so I don't bore you to death. But that is what we're going to be doing now. Right, so just to quickly show you, the webbing there has all been trimmed off the top as well, obviously. Just give it a bit of a clean up ready. So, and um, these holes as well, we've made bigger so the adjusting screws can slide through. So, make sure your gasket's on flat. And then you line it up, basically. Made the hole a bit bigger, not the prettiest, but it's big enough now. Not too baggy, just how we like it. So, I'll fix that in place and then I will fit it to the car. Okay, so the lamp is ready to go back in and I just want to show you quickly um, so you understand regarding the adjustment screws that I mentioned earlier. So I'm not going to put it in, it's a bit tricky this bit guys. So basically if I just hold this up, you'll see there that those two cutouts there, I don't know if you can see, go over the adjustment screws and that's why you needed to move those and make them holes bigger. Um, for the bezel to sit over in the correct place basically and for that to be secure so as I said this is going to be a bit of a, a tricky one and I don't want to damage this lamp so I'm just going to fit this quickly and then I'll cut back in okay so round headlights in doesn't she look gorgeous um, really pleased already so the grill is next um, we've fitted new grill clips where needed which are available um, so it's just a case of fitting that next and then we'll get on with the bumpers <laughs> So as you can see, fit one and a quarter bumpers, um, just put it up to marry it up to start with, but got carried away. So um, two fittings on these, obviously just one on the original bumper. So we've had to use an extra fitting on this one, a uh, spacer and a coach bolt. So that's in place now, um, really happy with how she's looking. So I'm just going to fit the indicator and this side's done and I'll crack on with the other side. Oh my God, what do you think? Doesn't she look amazing? Obviously, quarter bumpers are on. Sorry, I got carried away and I couldn't wait. Um, headlights, so much brighter and better than the last ones and look so much better. Um, so, little pretty Betty now looks like Betty! So, <laughs> she's ready to go. Um, the balance, I'm not sure we're gonna get time. Um, I've just had a message of uh, one of the guys saying Boris is due to make an announcement at eight o'clock regarding Christmas. So I do want to find out what that's about as well. And it's Sunday and I should be up with feet up, vodka, chocolates. That I've still got left from birthday. So that, that all needs to happen as well. But oh my goodness, guys, can you believe how beautiful she is? I'm absolutely gobsmacked. I knew she was gonna look good, but good grief, what a difference. So, I also do have her her bum, her bum bumper um, to match the front. So, I'm not gonna be able to do that today. That'll be on the next video. I've also got all the service parts. That still needs to be done. So, that will hopefully be on the next video as well. Um, we'll get Cockney, Cockney John in on the fun as well next time um so i've got a bit of banter as well then um, and i want you to meet him properly as well so there you have it she is stunning and i am absolutely chuffed to bits thanks for joining us guys take care so you actually thought i was gonna leave her 
without an underskirt on, seriously. Not in a million years. I had to finish her. She's done, she's beautiful, but we already knew that, didn't we? But she's extra, extra beautiful now. I can't believe the difference that this has made. I knew she would look good, but by God, wow. That's what dreams are made of right there. I'm so pleased. So, yes, she's done. However, oh, well, the front end, obviously, she hasn't got a bum done yet. We'll do that another day. But um, she's done, and you probably, or some of you may have seen my other video of the um, shite number plate from the DVLA. So I was impatient, if you remember, and I got two lots made up, well actually three, because I got the standard plates and then I got the ones that we needed, the um, black and silver. So we have number plates without border, we have number plate with border. Can't decide guys. I think I'm, I think I may have just a little bit of a favourite, but only slightly. So I want to put it to you. Make my decision for me, please. So we have border. That's how she looks with the border. And then we have no border. So there you have it. The decision is yours. So YouTube and Twitter, both of you, please help me decide which one to go with. But I'm sure you'll agree. She is beautiful. I'm in love even more than I was. So I'm definitely going now. And thanks for tuning in. Betty loves you and I love you too. Cheers, guys.